Not everything in our lives goes as planned. Sometimes things don't go our way. And when that happens, it is always best to have a backup or a plan B. You always need something to fall back on in terms of rainy days. Welcome to another exciting episode of Technology for All Academy, an academy that teaches ICT for free. To mention but a few, we have Cisco and MicroTik series and will be doing other vendor series in the future. For those who don't know me, my name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. In our lesson today, we'll be learning ways to backup and restore our configuration. We have two ways or methods to backup our configuration. Beam binary or image and configuration and export, which uses command line interface like party for example. Binary or image, store everything including the password. It helps when troubleshooting something you are not sure of. You can make a backup before you can make changes to your configuration. And then if something goes wrong or you are not sure what to do, you can always restore back to the image that you saved. It also helps when you are trying new things like trying to learn new configuration that you are not sure of. You are, make, you are making your home labs doing something maybe that you saw on a book or on, on a YouTube channel or something that someone told you about that you want to try out. So it also helps in that way also. You make your backup point and then Whenever something goes wrong, you have a restore point that you can go back to. Binary or image cannot be edited or used on another microtech device or equipment. It can only work on the device that you stored on. Without any waste of time, let me open my win box and show a practical example of what I mean. Okay, let's open our win box and then let me connect to my router. Let's go to files and on files, let's make a backup. Okay. If you don't give your backup a name, it will take the name of your router. On my case, let me just make it WE. And then the password, you can either use a password or if you don't, you can leave it. It will also work. Let me make password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Encryption. As I've said, you cannot edit it, so I would like to show you with encryption and without encryption uh, what I'm talking about. So right now, let me click on backup, and then here's my backup here. Right, let me paste my backup on the desktop, and then let's try to open our backup with Notepad, Notepad++. You see what I mean? Right now, it's with encryption. You can see there's nothing that you can make up out of this text that it's here. Everything is encrypted. Okay, let me close. And then let's delete our backup. And then right now, let me do a backup again. The same backup. But I'm going to say don't encrypt. And then let's do the backup. And then as you can see. Let's take our backup again to the desktop. Okay, let's try to open it with Notepad++. And then as you can see, it's also kind of encrypted. Because as you can see, even though things are kind of put in sort of an order, but you can't make anything out of it like null, etx, null, null, bs. You can see this, it doesn't make sense. You can read some of the things, switch, ACL entries, but you can't really make anything out of this. So to tell the truth, there's nothing to edit here, or there's nothing that you can make a base configuration that you can use on another microtic device or microtic equipment. So let me close it. Now let's make some changes to our router. And then we're gonna use our backup for restoration. Okay, let me go to, to 
IP services and then let's enable our IP services all of them all of our IP services are, en are enabled let's go to system and then let's click on identity and then let's change the name to GHJ okay and as you can see our name right now is GHJ now let's close and then we go to files click on our backup then click restore do you want to restore the configuration and reboot yes and then we'll wait for it now that is finished let's reconnect and then as you can see right now the name lab test back to microtik and then now let's go to ip and we go to services as we can see there's also changes in our services we enabled all of them but right now as you can see it's only ssh winbox and ww ssl that are that are enabled so you can see that backup is handy for when you made something that you are not sure of and then you can restore to the image that you saved we can also do backup configuration on a command line interface to do that let me click on new terminal and then we'll give the command system backup save then name let's make our name lab backup encryption aes and then password let's make our password one two three four five six enter and then let's go to files as you can see here's our backup lab backup okay i'm not i'm going to delete it right now okay with that we are finished with binary or image now our second method for configuring backup its configuration you are doing it on a command line interface it needs an application like part and that configuration can be handy for you to make it the base configuration for all the routers that you want to configure all you need to do is uh, open it with notepad plus plus and edit as you like or edit according to the router that you are going to configure and then when you get to that router you just copy and paste or you import it so without any waste of time let me show you what i mean okay i'm going to close my win box right now and then let's open party our ip address is 10.10.10.1 .10 .10 and then open login as lab test enter password one two three four five six enter and then what we need to type is export that's the thing that you need to type export is like show running configuration in cisco so let's press enter and then it will give all the commands or the configuration that we did up until so far okay now we can give the command export file let's give our file a name okay lab backup and after this command we can go to our winbox again on files let me connect to my winbox let's go to files as you can see we have lab backup again but right now it's with the extension dot rsc okay let me take that configuration put it on my desktop and now let's open this configuration with notepad plus plus and see how it looks like as you can see this configuration is clear everything you can see that we did let me let me close just a bit and then put them side by side as you can see everything looks the same so you can use this configuration as a base configuration for all the devices that you want to configure and then what you do is just tweak it there and there according to the device that you are going to for example maybe let's say you are not uh, configuring this model of a router you, you are configuring another model another model something that some of the things that you gonna delete and then maybe the interfaces are modern uh, interfaces of this router then you can add another command for the extra interfaces things like that you can edit as you want it's like the world is your oyster when you have this so when you get to your device you don't have to start from the beginning you just copy and paste 
or you just import your file okay let me close it for now and then let's see the import how we do it tap import put file name and then you tap your file name which on our case it's lab backup dot rsc don't forget the extension dot rsc and then you press enter and it will load your backup hope this lesson was informative and you enjoyed it if you did please share with someone who also benefit from this lesson and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we are loading another video with this thank you and have a nice day